Hi everybody, John from Wire here. In this video, we're going to learn how to add an ads.txt file to the root directory of your WordPress website. It's a pretty simple fix, but I just wanted to show anybody in case you notice this notification when you log into Google AdSense. It says, earnings at risk. You need to add your ads.txt file to your website. So click on fix now, and it's going to present you with two options. It's going to say, create an ads.txt file and you'll either have one or the number of websites that are affected by this issue. So I'm going to download this document, and I'm going to open this document so I can see what ads.txt file I need to add to my root directory of my site. So now that I have this code in front of me, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my WordPress website. I'm going to click on the plugin section. If you're a more advanced user, you're probably familiar with FTPing into your web server and just uploading the ads.txt file into the root directory. But if you're unfamiliar with that and you're not sure how to FTP into your server, we can accomplish essentially the same thing by adding a new plugin. The plugin we're going to add is called File Manager. Once you've found File Manager, go ahead and click on Install Now. Once it's been installed, click on Activate. Now that we've installed File Manager, it's going to appear on the left-hand side. Click on WP File Manager, and it's going to present you with a new UI where you can see all of the files on your web server. On this page, you're going to see a bunch of files and folders that you've probably never seen before. That's okay, we're not going to modify any of these. We're just going to add a new file to the root domain, which is already selected by default when you browse to this page. Click on the button that looks like the new page, and it's going to say New File. In this selector, we want to make sure that it's a txt plain text file, and we're going to name this ads.txt. Press enter, and the document's going to save. Once it saves, it's going to give the option to edit the file, but if you don't see this in the upper right hand corner, you can just scroll down to where this new file is, right click it, and then click on code editor. In this section, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the document that we downloaded from AdSense, and we're just going to copy and paste this content into the ads.txt file that's already sitting on your server. Click on Save and Close, and then it's going to say that it's updated successfully. Once you've added the content to the ads.txt file, you can right-click on this file and click on Preview to see what the actual document says. If you're seeing this, that means you've done it correctly. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to navigate directly to this file on your web server from the browser. So open up a new tab, and then go to your website, and then put a slash, ads.txt at the end, and then click Enter. And you should have the exact content that you just copied and pasted into the original file manager document. Once you've confirmed that you've uploaded the ads.txt file correctly, you can go ahead and uninstall WP File Manager. For security and safety concerns, there's really no reason that you'd need to access this directly anytime in the future. And if you do, you can always re-download it and make any edits or modifications that you need. Just go back into your plugin section, deactivate the plugin, and then scroll to the bottom and click on delete. Once you go ahead and delete the plugin, you can still go back to your website and see that the ads.txt file still exists and it'll remain there unless you go and change it again. I hope this helped, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do read each and every comment, and I try to respond as best as I can. Thanks, and have a good rest of your day.